Hey guys, in this video we're going to do kind of an update experiment to a video I did in 2020 about capturing multiple webcams with the exception that I wanted to see how a little program I have called Multicam Capture could work with Camtasia 2021 when you need to capture more than one webcam because to date Camtasia only allows single webcam capture. So let's jump into it. Okay, so start off, uh, I've set my project settings to 1080p and I've gone into Logitech webcam settings and tried to get the webcam set up as best I can. I've got two uh, Godox LED panels here, so there's no shortage of light, uh, that's for sure. Audio is going to go through the AT2020 and um, yeah, so let's see what kind of a, a recording I can get, both so I'm capturing the screen and the webcam and, and just let's see what we get here. So in this comparison, you can clearly see that the H.264 is a touch less contrasty than the Camtasia's TSC2. So for my money, I'd probably just go with H.264 because the file sizes are going uh, to be a little bit smaller and uh, just save you a little bit of hard disk space. Um, so that's my choice when you compare the two codecs side by side. Okay, so what we're doing here is after playing around with Camtasia 2021, then I thought, uh, I got this multicam capture program that's a really cool little program allows you to record multiple webcams or multiple video feeds. So you're looking at my C920 directly ahead. I've got a C930E over on the right here and I've got another C920 on the left here. And on the screen here, um, what you can see is, you know, the, the four captures that are being done right now. And it, it's pretty straightforward. So the beauty of this is that in, in my day job, I'm always, you know, doing testing to see if I can improve things. And a lot of times I'm working with people that are in front of a webcam, you know, they're recording a PowerPoint presentation, but maybe they want to have a device off to one side so they can have another camera view on it or an overhead view. Well, multicam capture is a really cool tool for doing that because in this case, I got three webcams running, plus I'm capturing the screen at the same time. And um, now that Camtasia, you know, works with 1080p a little better than it ever has in the past, um, it's just a win-win all around. And so, and multicam capture, if you're you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. But I, uh, probably the the most popular video I've done in the last two years. Um, was a video called um, Recording Multiple Webcams, and the software I used was Multicam Capture. It's a little program made by Corel, and uh, so you can link to that and, and get some more details on it. But let's take a look at this, uh, these clips and uh, let's see how everything turns out, and then we can go from there. Okay, so as you can see on the screen here, we've got the Camtasia Capture on the left, and we've got the Multicam Capture on the right. And it's clearly uh, the multicam capture is the winner. This is the one done in MJPEG and multicam, and this is the one done in TSC2 uh, with Camtasia. So for my money, I would probably opt for the multicam capture. Um, but I'm not saying Camtasia is worthless now. All I'm saying is, you know, I just wanted to see the difference between the two captures side by side um, so that in the event, you know, I got a quality issue, I want to fix it or what have you, I'm going to record using multicam or I'm going to go to my A6000 if I really, <laughs> I really need a uh, fantastic uh, good clean capture but a lot of the times the captures that I'm doing with uh, my webcam I'm dropping them down to 720p just using them very small in the upper right or, or bottom right corners and so they're quite acceptable and now um, you know I look at this one on the left here and I see it's a little more contrasty well a lot more contrasty I guess and then the one on the right it's just a, a nicer looking render so there's a comparison for you and, and you can decide for yourself and if any of you guys are playing around with uh, Camtasia 2021 the way I am and I'm missing something like by all means connect in in the comments because you know anything that I can gain to take things to the next level I'd really appreciate it maybe I got a preference setting not set right or something like that but um, so far all in all like I'm really happy with Camtasia 2021 this is just a, an experiment and maybe we can all benefit from it so there's one other thing that I wanted to experiment with, and that's Logitech has its own software capture program called Logitech Capture or Loggy Capture. And uh, that's what I'm using right now. Same C920, C920 1080p. And uh, the program allows you to capture your screen and your webcam. But here's the problem. Um, down the bottom left of Loggy Capture, you can do things like this, where you're capturing your picture-in-picture, -picture, 
and your screen capture. The problem for me, uh, it, you know, as a training content developer is that I need to have the picture in picture separately as a separate MP4 so that I can manipulate it. I might want to crop it or do whatever. And Loggy Capture is exporting this as one uh, MP4. So Logitech, if you're listening, pay attention here. You need to separate the screen capture has to be one MP4 and the PIP has to be another. MP4, otherwise it's going to be useless to a lot of uh, training uh, content developers. But for somebody just making a, you know, Mickey Mouse YouTube video, this would probably be fine for depending on what the situation is. So now just to drive home the point about, um, you know, your picture in picture and your screen capture being separate MP4s, I'm using multicam capture and same C920 webcam and I'm capturing the same blue screen that I caught with the Loggy capture and uh, I'll put them side by side for you so that you can see the comparison but you know you're gonna see that with multicam um, the resolution or the quality of the uh, picture in picture is pretty dramatic a lot better that is. So from those results what we can see is that uh, if you use your uh, webcam, your Logitech webcam, uh, through Camtasia, the quality is going to be the lesser of the three. Um, the, the quality of the capture with Loggy Capture is a little better, um, maybe even dramatically better, if you will. And then if you go to Multicam, uh, your capture is going to be the best. And Multicam is going to spit out separate MP4s, whereas Loggy Capture will not. It'll be all one MP4, which, like I said, uh, earlier is useless for a developer because you know we are using uh, specialized templates and in my case the PIP is always in the bottom right hand corner so I don't want to rejig my whole template just to you know accommodate loggy capture um, but there may be times where if all I need is a capture then I can use loggy capture or I'll use uh, multicam depending on what I'm doing so um, you know Camtasia 2021 combined with PowerPoint uh, loggy capture and multicam capture. I mean, there's some powerful tools for making some really heavy duty uh, training content. So um, that's basically my takeaway from the experimenting I've done so far. Okay, so another thing that I tried, um, and what you can see now is multicam capture is layered on top of Camtasia. And uh, so if I come over here to record, take a second to open the record panel here. I'm gonna have to get rid of those error messages. Um, but you may not be aware of this. If you go to uh, select your cam uh, quarter, like your C920 or what have you, you can actually use the program Loggy Capture. So you can select Loggy Capture here, like I've done, and you'll see that there's nothing there. So let's see if we can fix that. I'll show you how this works. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna click on Loggy Capture. It'll take a second for it to boot up. And what I'm going to do is set it up. There's my C930 webcam. So I've set it up that way. And so now Loggy Capture is opening up. So you can uh, make all your settings here until your heart's desired. Um, but the problem when you do this is that the MP4 that you're going to bring in, um, or the capture that you're going to bring, it'll be a T-Rec file. The audio and the video are out of sync by about anywhere from three to five seconds. So you're better off to just go into Loggy Capture and, you know, capture your picture and picture uh, MP4 that way. And then just copy and paste it into Camtasia or import it into Camtasia. But doing it this way um, is problematic. So that's just another thing that I discovered playing around with this. And... Uh, so now if I click back here, I'm back to my, I'll probably have to, to reboot it to get it to show the other webcam, but uh, I think you get the idea. The point of this was simply that if you're gonna use Loggy Capture, if you're gonna use uh, this method of bringing in your capture, it's gonna be out of sync. Audio and video will be out of sync by three to five seconds. So just watch out for that one. So let's wrap this video up by taking a look at some key takeaways. Firstly, I want to be clear, Camtasia 2021 is full of a lot of awesome new features that in many ways will be game changers for many of us in the days to come, uh, no doubt about it. Integrating multicam capture into your arsenal of tools to use with Camtasia simply provides some options we didn't previously have. Being able to record 1080p from our webcams, for example, with audio and video that's in sync is a huge plus. Be aware of Logitech camera settings utility, as it might help you fine-tune some of those high-contrasty videos. 
The second new version of TechSmith's codec, TSC2, is pretty good, to be honest, and we saw that compared to H.264. Clearly, Multicam's render of 1080p is noticeably better for whatever reason. Um, and so, yeah, in Multicam, we were using MJ, MJPEG as compared to H.264 or TSC2 in Camtasia, but still there's something going on with Multicam uh, that's just a little bit better than Camtasia's uh, render engine, in my humble opinion. So that's just something to be uh, mindful of, depending on uh, what you're building or what project that you're working on. Lastly, I just want to be clear that uh, video from a webcam will never replace what we can capture with mirrorless cameras these days. And to be clear, uh, we shouldn't really expect them to, as webcams have a market disadvantage due to their much smaller sensor size. There's just no two ways about it. Should you switch to a 4K webcam? I haven't tested this yet, and it really depends on your content production system's bandwidth for rendering large video files. So in other words, how big and powerful is your computer? Mine happens to be an i7-8700K, so that's something for you to think about. To wrap this up, if you found the video useful, kindly hit the subscribe and like buttons for me and let me know, by all means, uh, how you're making out with Camtasia 2021 in your production environments. I'd love to hear. Uh, we can all win together, right? Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.